It's Pippin's pregame, prior to the series finale with these suites, at least here before this series moves to Walla Walla. Marcus McKimmy with me, and let's talk about a, a tough 10-4 loss, first of all, last night. And we'll start with your pitching. Brandon Williams, a guy that we talked about before the game as being so good. Would you say he was off last night, or are these bats for Walla Walla just that good? Uh, I'd say a combination of both. They're, they're a good hitting club uh, that, you know, it had some struggles, and they, they've, they've come out ready to play against us. You know, Brandon... Uh, wasn't the sharpest last night, but you know, baseball is a game of time and space, and uh, we expect him to be be our bulldog and our horse for us for the summer. So, uh, you know, there were some situations outside of his control last night. I thought he made some some quality pitches that you know just found holes. Uh, their first three hits were off two strike counts that we were ahead in, you know, as a defense, and and so just understanding the process and and giving yourself the best chance to be successful. I, I thought we did that, and uh, we'll continue to do that tonight. Conversely, this Walla Walla pitching staff came in with an ERA over seven. You wouldn't know it, though, looking at the way they pitched. Would you say you know, those arms are, are looking better than you would think, or are you guys maybe struggling a bit at the plate, too? It's, a, it's the same thing. You know, uh, there's uh, the sample size is, is, is big enough, you know, to, to understand that uh, everybody, you know, can can play well against you, and you you've got to play play your best to win. Uh, you know, every game's different. You know, today's the same way. We've we feel confident that if 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 we play play a solid game and take care of our business, that you know we we've got a very good shot to win. And and ultimately, in, in baseball, you you've got to find ways to to scratch and claw when your back's against the wall. And today, all we're worried about is is salvaging this this series and, and getting one from these guys at home. Yeah. Lastly, I mean. Just in general, this is a long season. Obviously, 54 games, it'll fly, but it can also be long. How do you make this just a, a small thing and kind of keep it in the bigger picture that this could be a very short-term slide? Well, we, we've always scripted and talked about things in a in a big-picture manner. You know, we're still in first place. Hey, we're 12 and 8 in the in the East Region. Uh, you know, and we're in a good position. You know, to to move forward based on what we've done prior to this series. So the, the, the mindset doesn't change. We're dealing with, you know, a couple couple injuries here and there, and that's going to be expected. Uh, you know, just, just where you, you continue to go, looking forward is more important than, you know, contemplating what happened last night or the last week. Cool logos on the field tonight. Fireworks coming after maybe even some cool fireworks from these bats in the middle of the game as we conclude Pippins pregame right here on PippinsBaseball.com.